Colossus, wake up. Spagonia needs you. Huh? What? How long have I been asleep for? Nine months? What happened when I was gone? Did they get rid of Corona? Have I reached a million subs? Do I have a girlfriend? No. There's just bugs and weeds everywhere. Oh. Welcome back to another New Leaf Update video. Waking up after a whole pregnancy's worth of time, I thought I would revisit my New Leaf town, Spagonia. I have to say, coming back feels great. New Horizons wasn't exactly my cup of tea, and I know many of you have been wanting this. Right off the bat, I went to devour the souls of the infidel roaches that roamed my home while I was in dreamland. And oh my gosh! There's so many letters. Oh yeah, and my drug dealer's probably been wondering where I've been. My plug leaf tells me that he's been short on Mary Jane and needs my help to stock up. Of course I agreed as long as he hands me a chunk to blaze and then it was off to work. I couldn't believe it though, 97 weeds to smoke? This is gonna take a while. Jokes aside, I do really appreciate the devs putting something like this in the game after being gone for so long. It's a neat way to clean your town up and woo! Six minutes and six seconds, that's gotta be a world record, baby. After finishing collecting dope, Leaf handed me a good portion and we went our separate ways. Since it had been so long, I thought the fish in the water must have changed by now, considering it's a new season and all. So, like old times, here's a fishing montage. Later when I visited the plaza, that's where I locked eyes again with a big titty goth girl. It was so romantic, almost like seeing each other again for the first time. She was super happy to see me. I thought I would rob the store really quick on my way home, and that's all that really happened on my first day back. On my second day back, I thought I would treat my goth GF with a present. A rose sofa. Hopefully she invites me over for some Hulu and chill pretty soon. I say Hulu instead of Netflix because while I was gone, Netflix got cancelled for some show about tangerines called Cuties. Recently, Peck was talking mad smack while I was gone, calling my channel dead. So I planted a pitfall seed just for him. Oh god, Ursus, why? Take that, you son of a bitch. So this whole time I was gone, we only managed to raise 2,000 f***ing bells for this well? I'm starting to remember why I went to sleep for so long. On my third day, the store was under construction, which was a tad bit frustrating because I was trying to stock up on spooky furniture for the weekend. I still managed to get a few things like a spooky bed and clock, but I'm totally underprepared for Halloween this Saturday. F Apparently someone new moved into Spagonia today too. His name's T-Bone. That's a cute name. He's probably a do Hurry, burn it all down. I realized I never went into Shampoodle since it was built, and my head was screaming for a haircut. So after sitting down and flirting with this dilf, I decided on getting a me face. Those things were awesome back in City Folk, so I just wanted a meme. But I had no me's aside this one named Martin. <laughs> Who the f is Martin? Guess we'll just have to find out. Oh my gosh! I'm beautiful. Martin, if you're watching this and this is your me, dude, hit me up. After showing my plastic surgery off, it was time for the new well ceremony. And there, among all the ruckus, that's when I spotted her. What is with all these big titty pigs? I approached her after the ceremony and I gotta say, my Martin face had her feeling some type of way. Agnes must never know about us. Today's the day the store gets an upgrade and you know I'm prepared. My goth GF heard some rumors about me talking to other girls during the ceremony, so I showed her my love loyalty by giving her a goth fish. A goth fish for a goth bitch. After that I went right back to work, and by work I mean robbing the TNT Mart. Or in this case, T-I-Y? Whatever the f that stands for. Welcome, welcome! Put everything in the bag! <laughs> the store upgrade was barely that much bigger. I honestly thought there would be a second floor or something, so this was a bit underwhelming for sure. I gotta say though, the store's music is jamming. just listen to it. Another successful robbery. They also added Leaf into the main store now, so instead of needing to walk outside, it's something similar to the Abel sisters and how you just kind of walk over to LaBelle's side of the store. Pretty neat. So Friday finally rolls around and I needed to get ready for Halloween. There's only one thing to do and that's get my costume. But for some reason I couldn't get the pro designs to work. I know there's a way to make full-on custom outfits, but I have no idea what to do or where to go. And I think it's a whole process I probably just glossed over. Either way, I gave up and tried putting together something with the in-game outfits. 
Halloween is finally here, and I got my costume on. Can you guess who I am? That's right. I'm Sand. So the way that Halloween works in New Leaf is you gotta walk around and find Jack. He's the god of Halloween and he gives you either a mask or spooky furniture in exchange for candy. But if you didn't stock up on candy during the month, don't even trip, dog! You can challenge the other villagers who all look the same to some mini games where they give you candy for winning. However, if you lose those mini games, sh gets f real fast. I tied in rock, paper, scissors with goose for like an hour straight. Like what the f only to end up losing and he ruined my sans costume. From the games that I've seen, there's only three. You either play charades and guess what the villager is trying to communicate for candy, rock, paper, scissors, which has a really cute animation, and the last game called Made You Look, which is basically just rock, paper, scissors, but you just need to look in the same direction direction as the villager. Two out of the three games are legit just chance games, but the punishments aren't that bad. Sometimes they'll change the stuff in your inventory to garbage, and honestly that's kind of f***ed up. There's also a chance to go inside the villagers homes, and you can scare them just from wearing a spooky mask. I put on this mummy mask and scared the bejeebus out of T-Bone, and he gave me a lollipop to get the f*** out. If you trade a lollipop instead of candy to Jack, he gives you an extra special furniture item. So after I collected all my goodies, I went home and decorated my house for Halloween. Yeah, it's nothing too crazy, but I got this cool crystal ball that shows you your future. Oh. Well, 